Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna drive a 7 segment with STM32. First of all, we are gonna make the connections as you see in the picture. The 7 GPIOs of the STM32 are connected to the inputs of the driver. The driver that I'm using is ULN2003 and the outputs are connected to this segment. For power supply, I'm using LM2596 and I connected the input pins to the 12 volts and I adjust the output to the 4.5 volts. After making connections, it's time for programming. Let's create a new project. Select part number as STM32F103 C8 Choose a name, 7 segment. Okay, now we are gonna make the pinout configurations. First of all, come to the system, select this to serial wire, and go to the RCC and select external resonator for our clock source. Now it's time to configure the GPIOs as I mentioned for segments starting from B3 and you will end up with B9 okay now we are done and we will jump to the clock configurations select HSE and PLL clock save this project now we are gonna drive the 7 segment and display 0 using HAL libraries. HAL GPIO Right pin B and pin is 3 The pin state is GPIO pin set This will activate the A segment We have the segment management here I connect B3 to A segment, B4 to B segment, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, in order to display 0, we are going to set all the segments except G1. So, let's copy this code and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So all of them should be 1, E, F, except G1. So we are gonna set G segment to reset. So let's save this project, build, and program there we go now you can see that we display zero in the seven segment and now we are gonna declare a function in order to display all the numbers from zero to nine okay let's crop the piece of code that we have written here and declare our function void seven segment display with the input of x okay as we have 10 different states we are going to use switch case switch on x case 0 Paste the codes that we have copy. So this is for zero state at break here. And now we are gonna fill up the next states. For one state, the B and C should be on and other segments should be off. So select B and C to set and the rest of the segments to reset mode for number two the a b g e and d should be on and f 
and C should be up. F and C should be up. The rest of them should be on. Okay, for number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, we have zero, one, two, and three. For three, the F and E should be off. F and E, the rest of them should be on. For number four, the A, E, and D should be off. A, D, Okay, for number five, for number five, the B and E segments should be off. B and E. B and E should be off. Okay, for number six. Only B segment should be off and the rest of them should be on. So Okay, for number 7 A, B and C should be on. A, B and C, the rest of them should be off. Okay, for number 8, all of the segments should be on. And for number 9, the E segment should be off. And now we are going to add the brackets to the beginning and end of the switch case. Okay, let's define a variable here in counter and let's write a for loop here. Counter starts from zero. And counter smaller than 10. Counter plus plus. I'm gonna call that function. And the variable is counter. And now we are gonna add a delay here. Let's say 200 milliseconds. Okay, let's build our project, run the project. Now you can see that we are counting from 0 up to 9 with a 200 milliseconds delay. Thanks for watching this video guys, please don't forget to like, share and comment below. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.